So, Of course, it's not easy to assess like this deactivation because uh, the anatomy of the palate doesn't allow to stay because I, there's no vertical force. But uh, if I leave it here, it compresses the mucosa here. So, but if you take this, you feel the force. And um, if you give me a force gauge, if you give me a force gauge, we can try to assess the activation force, which is still there. So actually, it was was totally useless to to remove it, but it's just a check we're doing. Now the position is very uncomfortable. Cerco di aprire più che puoi, lo so che sei al massimo, fai quel che puoi. Ok. E la forza è circa 100 grammi, questo è un limite di 100 grammi, ma la forza è più di 100 grammi, è probabilmente nella zona di 150 grammi, che penso che sia appropriato per espandere tutto il segmento. E l'altra cosa che dovrebbe considerare è che la forza di espansione is given most probably at CR level because we are quite deep in the palate. <clears throat> so now I have to ligate it. You understand how this um, it might be difficult to work here. So the, the most difficult thing in, for, for me to, to prepare here was not placing the tads, of course, but uh, just uh, um, modeling the wire, make it passive and making the ligature, especially in the deeper one, because it's very difficult to get him with the matier plier and give the right angulation. This can be very difficult. So once you do it and you prepare the, uh, the anchorage unit and the anchorage wire, you just cross your fingers that everything stays there and it doesn't break, because if one of these tads is going to be become uh, <coughs> loose. I have to remove it, and that's not a problem. I have to place a new one, and that's not a problem. But then I have to remake the wire, and this is not something I like very much. Che cosa? Ogni tanto c'entra le mosche. Okay, now we uh, take a ligature, and I will again.